What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode today of our Road to Glory career mode here. There is a couple of changes to the side that I'm going to go into in a second. We have changed around the formation as we get into today's episode. But I looked at your comments, and that's why I've acted upon it. So before we start, I want to say I've changed the side. We go into a 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. We've got Brereton and Cole up front. We've got Acosta playing in behind them. You guys said to try Acosta out in Cam instead, and also play Cole and Brereton up top. So that's what we're going to do for today's episode. However... We were winning games before, so it could be a little bit of a situation if, like, we go and end up losing a few games today with this new formation. But regardless, that's what we're going to work with. We've got a strong bench. We've got a strong, like, kind of squad anyways. And we're looking pretty good so far in the league. We're currently sat top of the division with 19 points. But, of course, it's early days yet. There's still so long to go. And it's still a long, long way till the end of the season. In terms of player stats, we've started off very, very well indeed. Brereton there is the, one of the top scorers in the division so far. Clough, the only man, well, actually staying the same as him. I, I genuinely thought Brereton was going to be top, but he's not. He's on seven in eight, got eight games, and Clough is on seven in eight games as well. So they're joint top, basically. Martin, Kodja, and Renteria are the three behind them on five. But it looks like, at the moment, these two guys in the form of Brereton and Clough are running away with this. Brereton's enjoyed a very good start, actually, to his crew, Alexandra, career. So for today's episode... We're going to take a look at the games. I'm going to sim this one against QPR, and then we're going to play quite a few of these ones here. Away to Sheffield Wednesday. I might sim that one against Sheffield United, but the one I'm really looking forward to is that one against Huddersfield there. Of course, fem former Premier League, I guess, team, and um, it'll be interesting to see how we play against them. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode, test out this new formation, and see if it's going to be even better for us. Obviously, the issue we had was that my defending wasn't up to scratch. Maybe the 4-1-2 with a holding midfielder might be a better scenario than what we were playing before. Let's find out. Alrighty then, we're going to get into game one. We're going to sim it, as I said, against QPR. See what kind of result we get. The side on the left is what could be the probably strongest side we've got currently. There is a couple of changes we might be able to make to make it even better. But for now, I'm pretty confident with that team. Let's have a look and see. What happens? Furlong gives QPR the lead. Not quite the start I was really hoping for, to be honest with you. And, uh, yeah, we need to definitely score to get ourselves back on level terms if we can. The only issue we've got as well, guys, is, of course, simming these games might put us in a bad position. Playing them will be better, as Freeman has just made it 2-0 to QPR. Now 3-0 to QPR. That just didn't go to plan at all. Like, at all, that didn't work. Maybe I shouldn't have simmed it, but to be honest... I am very surprised that we got smashed there. Yeah, not a great way to start the episode off. Well, seeing as how we just got smashed a minute ago, I guess the only option now is to play the games and see how that's going to pan out. I'm going to change the um, squad number of Devante Cole, because at the moment he is wearing number 26. Um, I don't really want him to wear number 26. So what have we got available? Let's have a look. We've got 12. Uh, we don't really have anything available, to be honest. So he's going to have to stay as number 26. It'll be fine. Um, but let's get into the second game, Sheffield Wednesday, away from home. And after the uh, the poor performance in the first one, we need a victory here. So let's get into it. Very strong team. Of course, the only probably addition I could make is maybe putting someone in that left wing instead of Hakeem. But for now, I'm happy with that team. Let's get into the game and let's get ourselves a victory here. And here we go then. We are ready to get underway with this new formation, it's going to be interesting to see how I can adapt to this, actually. Because, of course, we, we changed something that was winning for us. And as I say that, instantly give away the ball. But Acosta's going to win that back. So, yeah, we changed something that was winning um, to try and kind of play something else. We two up front just to see if I can switch to a different formation and still get the right results. That's going to be kind of the thing that I'm aiming to try and get at here. If we can have, you know, two different formations where we're always constantly keeping our opponents guessing, that's the best case scenario to have. So let's hopefully... See if we can adapt to this well and play quite well. Brereton to Cole. Back towards Brereton. Nope. I was looking for a key. Didn't work. Wait. Wait. Where, what? What just happened? Where's my defender? Where on earth did he offer go to? Oh, Brereton trying to find Cole in behind with a pace. Here is Devante Cole for 1-0. Cole! Striking goalwards and Wildsmith makes the save. In the end, it wasn't a very convincing strike from Devante Cole. I would have hoped from better from him. Rowerton finding with a nice ball over the top, though, and that was a good pass from him. Yeah, disappointing finish from Tavante Cole. Probably should have tried to just lever it across the keeper instead of trying to place it in the bottom corner like I did. Phillips to Hakeem. Hakeem now to Brereton. Brereton on the turn, looking for the left foot. And again, pretty much straight at the keeper. Not really going to do too much there against him. But that was the first real opportunity of the game for us. 
Head in the way of Devante Cole, and we couldn't finish it. The offer to Acosta. Acosta's in. Acosta for one. And there he is again. He's just so good. He is just so, so good. He, honestly, he's one of these players that, like, under pressure, he just thrives. Like, there, that's not an easy finish to have to do. We've seen him miss a couple of kind of easier finishes, but that's not exactly an easy finish. He's got the keeper coming at him. He's got to take it first time. He does take it first time. It's right in the corner as well. And Acosta has given us the lead inside this game. Is that Claven, the Liverpool former defender who's playing for Sheffield United uh, Wednesday? Sorry. It is. Jeez, man. They've got a former Liverpool defender at the back for Sheffield United uh, Wednesday. That's mad. Anyways, continuing on. Good finish, Acosta. We've got the lead. And to be honest, we've been pretty comfortable so far. But as you guys know, one cross could change all that. And there it is. Literally, as soon as I was saying that, it just comes in. Why can we not defend crosses? Is there a setting I need to change? Because this is getting a little bit ridiculous now. Every time, it's as if my defenders just allow the attackers to run past them so that they have the advantage moving forward. And every single time the cross is perfect, it goes straight to them and they score. Like, why is he off for leaving his man there? And Rhodes, or whoever it is, just goes in between the two defenders, slots home for 1-1. One, one, one. What is going on? Every cross that comes in, I always feel nervous, because I know for a fact they're going to get a chance from it. Half-time whistle goes. I don't quite know how we're going in at this, drawing the game 1-1. One, one. They've had one chance, that cross that came in, and again, we couldn't defend against it. How many times are we going to say that in this series? A cross comes in, they score, we can't defend it. Literally, I feel like every single goal we concede is a cross. It's ridiculous now. Second half to come. We need a big performance in the second half. I want the three points from this one. We've been the better side in that first half. And uh, I'm not happy that we are drawing 1-1 here. Oh, brilliant from Cole. Sends through the top scorer, Brereton, for 2-1. It's good save again from Will Smith. I don't know why, but Brereton just ran out of, like, steam. He didn't continue his run. I legit held down the sprint button, and it felt like he was slowing down. I know he had the ball at his feet, but come on. You're faster than that. Somehow, we're not 2-1 up in the game. I missed another good chance there. I've got to score those. I really have to score those. Brereton. Cole. Cole. Striking. Good save again from the keeper. Nelson with a cross now towards the middle. It's gone past everybody. He's offside. Never mind. Tell you what. Sheffield Wednesday's keeper has made a few good stops this game. And uh, we're still equal in the game. Whereas our 77 rated goalkeeper Green hasn't had anything to do. And it's 1-1. Ridiculous. Oh, it's going bounce back. In, it's bouncing back to him. I can't stop it. They're going to score again. This game is actually ridiculous. I tackled them like three times and it just fell straight back every time. I'm so done with this. They've had literally two shots and they've scored them both. Look at this. My keeper again is useless. Every time. It's pointless having a goalkeeper because they just don't do anything. 2-1 down in the game. We should be winning this one. They've had two shots. They've scored them both. Get in. No. No. I can't believe this game. Seriously. <sighs> get in. Get in. Get in. Win that head of... No, 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 no. I can't believe. I can't believe we're about to, to lose this game 2-1. I genuinely cannot believe we've just lost that game. I really can't. This is legit the reason why I can't play foot champs. Because this is what happens to me when I play online as well. They've had two shots. My keeper just didn't do anything throughout the entirety of the game. Had literally two chances against him and he couldn't save either one. Yet their goalkeeper made three, I would say, decent saves that have given them the victory there. We hit the crossbar. Somehow just didn't score. I mean, if that is not you destined to lose a game, then I I've said it so many times before. And it's like I'm making up excuses. But the truth be told, how have we not come away with anything from that game? The better side, I know it happens in real football as well. The better side sometimes doesn't do it. But at the same time, our keeper had two, two shots against him. And he literally didn't make a save. Green's going to be dropped from the side for now. And we're going to bring Hill into it. Because clearly something isn't right with Green. Then again, after the last performance that Hill put in. I mean, we haven't got much better in that goalkeeper, have we? So, Sheffield United are the next opponents. We'll see how we perform in this one. Hopefully we won't lose. That two losses in a row now. Luckily for us, somehow, we're still sat second place. And we're not, like, out of it yet. I don't understand how. But, yeah, I mean, it's weird. Because I just don't quite know 
what is going wrong there? How we didn't get anything out of that game? It's like, yeah, we hit the crossbar. We made the keeper make three saves. I just don't get it, man. Sometimes it's just frustrating playing this game. It really is. This is probably a bad idea to sim this game, but I'm going to do it regardless because, I mean, I haven't really got much more hope in playing the game, have I, with that last game? And I don't really want to jump straight back into it when I'm frustrated. So let's get into it. Lamine Endow against his former club. He's on the bench for Sheffield United today, so we'll be able to see him maybe come on at some point. We just need to get a win. And Brooks has already given Sheffield United the lead, but Brereton has equalised for us in the 33rd minute. We're at home. We have the home advantage. Come on, do not lose this game, boys. That's all I'm going to say. Gomez on for Hakeem. Acosta's given us the lead in the 69th minute to make it 2-1. Hold on. Just hold on to this. Get in. 2-1 win against Sheffield United. I'll take that. Lamine Endow didn't come off the bench against us, so that's also something else. But that's our first win, and I haven't even played the game. <laughs> it was the game who made it do it for me. Crazy. Next game coming up away to Huddersfield, of course. As I said earlier, Premier or former Premier League team in the uh, in the form of Huddersfield. So this one's going to be quite tough. And the way things are going, not looking too confident to this one. Let's go into the game anyway. I'll just try my best and see what happens. We're still in a good position in the league. So obviously, it's kind of weird for me to be frustrated with the fact that we are kind of not doing too well, even though we are doing really well in the league. But it's just the way we lost that other game. Um, it's just the way that we lost against Sheffield Wednesday. It's not the fact that we did lose. It's the way that it happened. Because those are the most frustrating losses. I don't mind losing if I'm getting absolutely slapped about and taught a lesson. It's the losses where I'm in control, we are the better team, and then all of a sudden it just goes completely wrong for us. I actually want to check out this Huddersfield team, so let me have a look and see what it's like. In terms of their side, the portrait's still there. Um, other than that, they've got quite a few new players there. Jogginson at the back, though, is a decent uh, central defender, so hoping we will uh, we'll be able to deal with him. But let's go into it and see what happens immediately giving the ball away. Good work, Cole. Nice one. That was an A pass, by the way, guys. Not a Y. That was A. Oh, I read that like a book. And he brought down in the middle. No! Why did I do that? What an idiot. What an actual idiot. He might be off here as well. But you know what's frustrating me the most? He's... Oh, he's going to be off. Well, great work, Dan. You've just put yourself in prime position to, uh, to win this game. Nice one. The frustrating one was this one right here. Look at... Um, who is it, actually? I'm trying to slide in. It's actually McDonald. If you look at him now, watch. We slide because I knew the pass was coming in. And look how close he was to blocking that ball. Unbelievable. Anyway, they've got a penalty. Um, I just feel with a chance to take the lead. We'll just see. Portrait against my goalkeeper. I think he's going to go to the left-hand side of the goal here. I was wrong. He went right. Oh, what's wrong with me today? I can't play FIFA. Now, the question is, do I just go for damage limitation, try not to lose by, like, three or four? Or do I try, actually, to get ourselves back in this game? Because all now, I just need to do is just sit back and absorb pressure, effectively, against ten men. So I can either... Go all out to try and get myself back in this. Or we could just try for damage limitation. Brereton trying to turn. He's got away from Jorgensen and he's into the box. Here is Brereton. Brereton with the left foot. Oh, it's inches. It's inches away from the bottom corner. Why are we not getting the luck we need today? That is legit ridiculous. Inches away from that bottom corner. Well, at the moment, I can't stop the Huddersfield attack. <sighs> Oh my gosh, why? I can't stop them. They got the extra man, they're using it really well. I couldn't get the ball back off them. It's just generally ridiculous this game. I feel like quitting. Like, we're 2 0 down anyway. The worst case scenario is that I quit the game and we lose 3 0. But I can't do that, obviously, because it's part of the series. Consa jumps out of the way of it. It's not even Consa, it's Campos. Jumps out of the way of the shot. Hill doesn't even have it covered. We haven't got a goalkeeper who can make a save. Our defenders jump out of the way of crosses and shots. We legit have no chance. The only way we win games is by us just attacking better than the other team. Again, though, two shots, two goals. Good turn, Brereton. Into the area he goes. Brereton with a shot! <sighs> that just sums up today's episode so far. Really does. Our top scorer gets in. 
Decent effort. And just drags it wide of the post. Free kick to Huddersfield. 38 minutes in. They're quite away from goal. 35 yards, but don't know if that's going to stop them. He goes short. They're actually just done me dirty. They actually did me dirty there. Genuinely, for a second, that should have been three. He should have shot instead of passing it. Because that was actually very, very nice. The, the technique that they used for that free kick. Doesn't help that I'm not playing very well myself. Because of the fact that um, I'm kind of tilted. But there is the first save of the F game. Or first save of the episode from our goalkeeper. Everybody give it a massive round of applause. What a stop. Return. I am so done with this game. We hit the woodwork against Sheffield Wednesday. We hit the woodwork in this game with Brereton. It just won't go for us. This game today, it, it must have a personal vendetta against me. Because I don't know what I'm doing wrong to it. But I just can't score. Like, legit can't score. I mean, we scored against Sheffield Wednesday. So I'm lying in that aspect. But yeah, again, off the woodwork. Well done. Get in, Hakeem. Good work. Come on, boys. At least get a consolation from today's game. Hakeem down the left-hand side. Whips across in towards Nelson. Nelson bringing it down. Looking for the finish. And Green's there again. <laughs> I just can't do it. Costa. Brereton. Turning. Striking. It's wide. We had chances. You know what? On another day, these chances would have gone in. And it might have been 2-2 here. But... We haven't scored, and um, yeah, it's not 2-2, two -two, it's 2-0. Two there it is! We finally lost. That's now what, the third defeat so far. I just, I can't comprehend how we aren't scoring in these games. I mean, look at the match facts. We had 10 men, and we were still as much in that game as Huddersfield was. Oh, I mean, at least our goalkeeper made three saves. So, that's a bonus. Jeez, man. This game today got some sort of vendetta against me. All right. I'm going to try this formation one more time in the next game against Ipswich. And we'll see how the game plays. I mean, this has not been a great episode so far, has it? But there's a chance to end it off on a high with this game against Ipswich. So, let's get into it. See how the boys play. I am going to make a change, actually, because we haven't actually had a great performance from uh, from Devante Cole so far. So I'm going to actually play Kinsella ahead of him this game and maybe bring Cole off the bench and utilise his pace that way. But, yeah, I mean, thus far, we've had a pretty shocking episode, I would say, and it's got to improve. So come on, boys. Last game of today's episode. We're going to have no rage in this one. I feel confident. Let's get into it. High spirits, ladies and gentlemen. The keeper made a few saves last game. Showcase he could actually do it. And now all we've got to do is play better in this one. Great ball. Unfortunate, but good start already. We created a chance and we've got a corner straight away. I want a fast start from this one. Reese Nelson's corner towards the back post. Eastwood's there. Beaten away by the goalkeeper. Nice start so far. This is fast. This is what I was hoping for. Phillips, come on, boys. We can still do this. Phillips again. Do you want me to keep off and just stood still? Make the run, mate. Back towards Phillips. Phillips. Costa, Kivisic, back to Acosta, this is good, that's not where I wanted to pass Acosta, it was supposed to go to Kinsella, but unfortunately, it didn't, no, not straight away, one pass again, come on, thank you, are you, can I quit the episode guys, like legit, can I just, I mean, Why? Why is that a penalty, ref? Well, why is that a penalty? I mean, is there any point? 
I mean, it's like, look at that. We started off so well. And then all of a sudden, see the penalty that's not really a penalty. Guess the right way. And instead of saving it, he just lets it run underneath him. Good ball, Kinsella. Towards Reese Nelson, who's got the pace. Nelson, has he got the finish? No, he hasn't. Straight at the keeper. Come on, Nelson. Get back on that. Crosses. Free header. Costa's there. It's cleared off the line, really. Really, 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 really. Come on, boys. Come on. We can still do this. Kevasic. Kinsella. No! That's the bad pass. All right, Hill. I know you want to improve your saving statistic, but that one was actually going wide. So, you know... I know you want to make a save and everything and be useful. But next time, uh, you can just let it go wide and we get a goal kick instead of giving him a corner. Probably a better idea, mate. Oh, nice. Here we go. This is a chance to get an equaliser. He offers cross. Devante's goal header. Ah. Well, we tried. Game, set, and match. So I would much prefer trying to get back in the game by doing what I've done with the formation and losing it 2-0 than I would just as trying to sit back and just stop damage limitation. But to be honest, this has been an episode in which I just don't want to make excuses up, but I feel like the game was completely against me today. And I'm hoping you guys can see that as well with the fact that I guess the right way in the penalty that I don't think was a penalty. If we score now, I'm going to be so annoyed. Um... Their goalkeepers have been able to make saves. Yeah, our goalkeepers have just turned into, like, no hands. I don't know what's going on. Like, they just didn't make a save, I don't think. And, um, yeah, overall, not really been a good episode, has it? I've tried to keep my rage down to a minimum as well, but... Oh, it's so annoying when this happens. And, um, to say the least, I don't think we'll be using this formation again. There we go. We lost. 2-0. Yay. I just don't know what to do. Again, though, I mean, match facts. Two on target, ladies and gentlemen. Did our keeper make a save? Let's find out. Saves. Well, that's a lie, because they had four shots. And they scored two. Oh, actually, hang on a second. He technically did save the penalty, just didn't keep it out, did he? So, you know. Nice. And that is how we're going to end today's episode off. I'm going to do this last bit of training. We actually, to be honest, considering the episode we've had, we're still in a good position in the league. I don't quite know how that's possible because we've lost, what, four games in today's episode or something crazy. And yet we're still in fifth place. I don't particularly know how. Um, let's see how, how far we are from top spot. Derby on 24. We're two points off top. I legit don't know how we're still there. I mean... There's five points separating 12th place to first. But still, we're in the playoffs somehow. Yeah, baffling. Anyways, if by some miracle you enjoyed today's episode, which for many reasons it was quite funny, but for other reasons it really wasn't, because I didn't enjoy today's episode, especially playing it, then I would appreciate a like rating, guys. As I always say, massive thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate that. As always, you guys are incredible. I did try out Costa and Kami. He worked in the first game. It just, overall, I don't think the formation suited me. But maybe I'll try him and Kami in a different formation. But for now, guys, that is how we end today's episode off. Not good. Not great. Um, hopefully, you guys are still entertained by the lack of Crew Alexandria goals today. But anyways, I'll catch you all for the next episode again very soon. Well, hopefully, we won't lose five games or four games or whatever it was. And we'll actually win some games in that one. But yeah, see you all then, guys. Adios.